I used my fingernail, as you can kind of tell, it's a little dirty, I cleaned it off, and I cleaned off the thermal interface material, or thermal uh, compound, and I cleaned this as well. However, it's not completely clean. We want to use a cotton swab, and carefully, now for this, I'm going to turn on the light. If you can't get a very good picture, I'm really sorry about that, but it's not really a brainer of how it's supposed to be cleaned. Gently clean the dye and then dry the dye. <laughs> now we have our clean Intel Core Duo. Now the fun oh, gross. part. You can see there's the thermal compound that I spread off right there. Apply just a dab of Arctic Silver 5. Maybe if I turn on the lights, that will help you see this. Some of you may hear my cat in the background. Apologize for that. I'm sorry. Okay, so that was probably a bit of a dirty job right there, but you can see there's some thermal compound. Arctic Silver 5 is on there. Next, pretty easy, just pop this thing back in, and then lay that down, and screw those screws back in. Now, we just want to screw them in so we can see how well this stuff spreads. I normally take a credit card, or a really thin device, like a credit card, and spread it around onto the die to only get a nice thin layer, but people say you eliminate the air bubble thing if you do it their way, but, um, you know, I've never done it that way, um, on a mobile direct die contact. I've only done it once, or a few times, on a one with the, on a desktop with an integrated heat spreader, so, I mean... And see how well that spreads when you apply it. I prefer it because it's a lot less work and it does seem to be better when I've done it before. But um, taking a look at if this was a success or a failure, you can see that it was a pretty good success there. It spreads out perfect. Now, the thing they do suggest actually is rubbing it into the heat sink. So let's go ahead and run to get a little plastic bag. You're going to put your finger in there, and you're going to rub it around. So we'll go ahead and get a small plastic bag. <laughs> kind of just got a little thermal taste in my mouth, which does say don't eat it, so I wouldn't try it. So now it's just dumb. I'm going to rub it in myself without watching you watching. It's not that not exciting. Pretty thick paste. Pretty nice thick compound. So be warned. Next, terrible job doing this, so don't attempt it at home or you might fail like me. You can see there's some see more of the residue there. And you can see that's on the processor. It did spread pretty evenly. I don't think you can see that. Trust me, it spread. That's good. I don't know if this even went on correctly. There we go. I just effed up big time. I didn't even install the CPU correctly. It wasn't even flat. I put it on wrong. If you were to try to power your system on, it definitely wouldn't power on. It was uneven, so I just put it on better now. Got to pay attention to those little grooves there because I didn't bend a pin, but you could have if you weren't careful, which I really wasn't careful, so I probably could have bent a pin, so screw that. So screw these screws on, like that, 
kind of don't get them all completely tight first just screw them in a bit uh, and then you can work on tightening them in just a moment make sure they're all tight though because you don't want any stuff to get loose and for it to make your computer not stay cool because no one no one wants to ruin their Intel processor I don't really like AMD processors I prefer Intel they seem to be better but um ooh yeah. right, see the problem without drinking coffee first is that you might forget to plug the fan back in it, the CPU when I had uh, Best Buy's Dynex compound under full load it would go to 180 but ideally it would actually drop down to 90 and it would stay in 90 while performing basic attack so 90 and this is Fahrenheit by the way so I mean that's pretty cool I would say so let's go ahead and run over to our location and turn this machine on I'm gonna need to install a battery not gonna really do much without one so just power your machine on by opening it up and pressing the button. Blue LED. Dell. Booting up this camera, which is the iPhone 3GS. So you can't really do much there, which is a good thing because you're not supposed to. Turn the light on. So that's a good indication you did not screw up. Even though I messed up with that processor, no pins were bent. It did see it on. I'll plug that mouse back in. So now we can just, um, whenever it, it has, what I think you'd be surprised to know is this thermal compound has to set in. What that means is you want to use your computer as regular, or at least regular in my definition, is turning it off every night when you're done with it. And you want it to heat up and then cool down to room temperature. You want to do this a while. It takes almost, or up to, according to their thing, 200 hours for it to reach full effect. And when it does reach full effect, your temps, your temperature should be lower, about 5 degrees Celsius, or centigrade, whatever. So, you know, rubbing alcohol, cotton swabs, pad, screwdriver. This is the old thermal compound. Like, flimsy crap. Makes your fingers all like dusty. Now, this is the Arctic Silver, which I'm just gonna fix it. All gooey. Syringe doesn't stay together very well. This is Arctic Silver 5, which is what I installed. This little syringe, believe it or not, cost nine bucks just for this tiny syringe that's going to cost you 10 bucks. So what I do with it is I put it in my plastic baggie. Let's roll her up and try not to screw around with it too much. And then I stick it in its little packaging. It's not really that exciting. I bought this Arctic Silver Radio Shack. As you can see, it's all happy in its little cozy packaging. Then it says the, the syringe fluid or whatever could separate and to avoid that, I'm just going to pop it in the fridge, like I've done before. So I'm just going to chuck it right in there, and, you know, with our chocolate chips, there's thermal compound whenever you need it. Refrigerator is like an old hot point device for, for fridge, so it's kind of old. There is my cat. Would you like to meet the camera, Jack? Look at the camera. Oh. He wants to go in my brother's room, which, you know, we can't, which is great. Not really. But, so that is how you apply Arctic Silver. This is a Phillips 00 screwdriver from iFixer. It does the job well, although it doesn't fit in the thing. So that's part two of applying thermal compound. Thanks for watching.